Dubai is an artificially constructed city that did not grow up organically like other cities, let along with great cities like London or New York. Most of the workers in Dubai are imported from other countries and live in workers' housing complexes similar to the housing in communist Russia in the 1950s, although with air conditioning and cable. The transportation network for people without cars is very limited. Dubai is a new large metropolitan city, and it lacks urban culture and a city-soul connection. Despite the fact that Dubai is located in the Middle East, you do not feel the Middle Eastern vibe. The culture is more Americanized from food to shopping, brands, and everything else. It's very high-tech, luxurious, futuristic, and bling-bling. It's Vegas on steroids. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. The city is a big massive super fun theme park. It's bling and super fun to visit once a while, but you do not want to live there for a number of reasons. The most resident is moving in and out, apart from the small percentage of locals. The local culture is not very visible in the city. If you're really keen to experience Khaliji Arabic culture, you have to drive downtown to Deira, the old part of the city. Maybe you could visit other cities in the UAE to explore the local culture, like Sharjah or Al Ain. The city is not walkable, you have to drive everywhere, and public transport is a hoax. Accessing the metro is a little confusing. Either you need to get a cab or drive. The metro is divided into two different classes, regular class, and gold class. Gold is classified as the first class. While in the metro, you're not allowed to eat, drink, chew gum, or nap, you can get fined if caught shutting your eyes on the way home from a tiring day at work. Dubai is not eco-friendly at all. If it rains, it will be flooded within an hour. However, the government is investing a lot to make Dubai very green and eco-friendly. Pollution is high because of the sandstorm and too many cars driving. There is no greenery yet because the city is fast developing, there is tiny outdoor public green parks or any outdoor activity year-round during the day because it's burning hot. Yes, you heard me right, it's burning hot. I have lived in warm climates, but I cannot handle the heat in Dubai between the months of May until September, it's unbearable. You're living in the oven, but the malls are fantastic. Apart from shopping, festivals, going to the beach depends on the month, eating, there isn't really much to do. The city is super fun for a visit, great nightlife, great entertainment and lots of fun things to do. But there is a problem with the expat community, and no one is there to have a decent human interaction with you, most are there to make money and leave. You do meet tons of fake expats and double-sided personalities. It's a difficult city to make friends whether it's with the expats or the locals, it's a commercial city after all. People are there to make money, and most are not there to live long term. Many sharks are in Dubai, and many will backstab you for opportunities and promotions. The architecture is beautiful, modern and it's stunning at night, but the buildings are mostly empty because they are overly expensive. Many buy their properties in Dubai as an investment but live either in India, Iran, the US, Russia, China, or Europe. There is a big massive gap between social classes. Not all Middle Easterns get treated relatively like the Syrians, Iraqis, or sometimes even the Lebanese have difficulties maintaining their work visas to stay in the country. The Indians, Pakistanis, and Southeast Asians are at the bottom of the social class with zero civil rights. Iranian expats get somewhat the best treatment compared to the rest, but that also depends on the regional, social, and economic situation of the region. European and American expats are being treated like royalties, unlike other nationalities. Nobody is interested in being your friend or having a drink with you. The expats are arrogant, and most are working class back in their home countries, even the Western expats. Dating scene sucks. If you are with a family living in Dubai, you're lucky. Dubai is filled with cheap gold diggers and fantastic actors who know how to play their games. The city is a monopoly, and you have no right to criticize it. The locals are amiable, generous, welcoming, and are willing to integrate with the outsiders, especially if you're a professional. However, many in the expat communities pretend to be your friend, but in reality, they are your worst enemy. The city is fun, glamorous, super shiny, and very futuristic. I find Dubai beautiful with great restaurants, festivals, and parties, but it's not a city implementing its local culture. It's a commercial business city with too many beautiful things distracting you. If you are an environmental activist, any activist at all, or not so pro-capitalism, then Dubai is not made for you. 
Dubai can be annoying too, all the culture is also imported and an excellent place to shop and earn good salaries, but that's it. The beach sucks, too hot most of the time, and the best parts are co-opted by hotels and are private. Dubai is a sheep in wolf's clothing. It pretends to be one of the metropolitan cities where ambition and higher forms of fulfillment can be achieved, while it is not. See, Dubai is like a high school kid trying to hang out with working adults, it copies them but lacks the experience and similar goals and lifestyles actually to be one of them. The fact that it is a dictatorship-style city with tons of rules makes it impossible for dreamers, artists, and geniuses to contribute to anything. They try to apply Western city lifestyles and give it a religious spin in a neighboring region full of unrest and expect that to work. They scam people with seemingly big paychecks and even higher prices, and therefore they lack the genuine soul and charm that the other cities have. They copy the wrong things. No dictatorship will ever achieve as much as a free country. Dubai is a desert, it doesn't have any natural resources. The weather does not support agriculture, natural food or natural life you can't even walk for five minutes under the sun. All the beaches, roads, buildings, everything has been created in the last 45 years. 80% of the population are expats who come and leave the country since they cannot be citizens. All the expats send money back home. No one can stay in Dubai forever. The laws always keep changing, but they are inclined to the Arab locals the Sharia law is an outdated system of beliefs and justice which they follow. Dubai claims to be a country that follows Islam, however, the nightlife proves otherwise, so it is more like a double standard. Dubai always shows it is happy, happening, and perfect, but it is not at all the case. Dubai never talks about its problems, and no one can talk about the problems in the UAE as you can get arrested, jailed, fined and deported. Dubai has an indoor ski, snow park, which is fake. Dubai has tons of expensive cars which it shows online, but they never showed the expensive cars which are dumped and the owners run away, which is fake. The loyalty to Dubai by the expats, is fake because they cannot speak the truth. Most of the so-called mega projects, World Islands, Palm 2, Palm 3, Waterfront, all which were shown on social media and the news, are not complete, and no one is talking about it. Dubai World Central and Al Maktoum Airport is nearly empty, been there. Most of the construction sites have left the buildings half constructed while the owners have run away with the money. However, the images remain online is pretty glamorous. Biggest one of them all, almost all the people in Dubai are there to make money, and the day you lose your job and your money, your own friends, even your own relatives in Dubai. Despite all of this, Dubai is still a city of great potential, and I will always have a soft spot for it, as the standard of living was by any means excellent. I do not oppose it's a success, in fact, I cheer it on, I was stating that the city has a big problem with identity, culture, arts, and innovation, the things that matter and give a place it's a unique vibe. Most of the culture is highly exclusive to the locals, and in terms of arts, innovation, and history, Dubai was only a small fishing town less than 50 years ago, so it's very understandable. Its development was purely economic and wasn't particularly touched by dramatic historical events or movements, and how could it in so little time, and the fear-based pacifier through harsh laws and fines they place on people strongly discourages artists. I'm confident that with time, the globalized youth will take hold and figure it out, as classically framed by John Mayer. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.